Meet the world's greatest Hitman. Hitman pits one professional assassin against a host of targets to eliminate. A game that requires stealth, precision, and most of all, subtlety. But recently, Hitman received an interesting update, adding a new roguelike mode called Freelancer, which allows us to take on increasingly difficult contracts, losing our weapons and gear upon death. The goal is to bring down the major crime syndicate by completing three consecutive assassinations. We start as the iconic Agent 47, deep inside our underground bunker. Here, we store equipment to take on missions. Right now, we have pretty much nothing, but after asking nicely, that would change. Though first, we need to decide which syndicate to go after. Big Pharma, organ trafficking, or assassination rings. But worst of all, Eco crime. By selecting the syndicate, we can start doing missions to both collapse their empire and more importantly, make money. As I told my stream, how hard could it possibly be? Mission one, Colorado. Arriving at the local hemp farm, our mission was to assassinate two targets. And as a wise man once told me, in the top left are our objectives. Eliminating targets is mandatory, but the blue assignments are optional. Climbing down the tower, stealthily, we took out our first guard. Um, with our flawless tactics, we can now disguise as a militia, fulfilling our one bonus objective. As for the others, take no damage and kill only the targets. Surely I can do that. We carefully hid the bodies, picked up some weapons, and found the nearby dealer. Here we can buy weapons and equipment with our wads of cash. Each target was on a different side of the map, but with our newfound disguise, we could walk freely around on the site, remaining inconspicuous. You, uh, you having fun there? Although even with our outfit, we didn't have clearance to go near the first target. On the outskirts, we observed the area. Please, sir, behave in an orderly fashion. And found a potential way in the side. We just needed to distract the soldiers for long enough to sneak by. While the guards were busy eating crayons, we snuck through next to the house. But with nowhere to hide, they eventually caught on. Sir, you have to follow me right now. Are we clear? All right, all right. Look, we're, we're not going to have any problems. Okay, you know what? This uh, this didn't work exactly as I thought it might. Outstanding work, Agent 47. You've done it again. Dying in a mission means we lose our gear and half our money. It also puts our other missions under high alert. If we fail again, we lose the entire campaign, meaning we'd forfeit our streak of three consecutive missions. So now we had no weapons, no equipment, and barely enough money to afford an ambulance. But we did get a useful gift, one common household item, C4. Because after each mission, we get to pick from three pieces of assassin equipment to acquire, which we'd need because this next mission will require meticulous planning. For Agent 47, had to make someone slip. Alright, Bill Gates should be here soon. With the territory on high alert, its guards were more aware and attentive, still overlooking the conspicuous bald man sneaking around. Using our acquired disguise, we paraded around, found some assassin crates. Well, I mean, this is pretty pretty easy one. Then searched for our much needed item, a banana. Another objective was again to kill only the target, so like Batman, we do not kill. Brain damage, on the other hand, is fair game. Armed with our lethal yeah, arsenal. Yeah, you got your weapon, I got mine. Got a problem with it? Ooh, uh. We did a bit of exploring, eventually finding our target. Now, he might look like a hard-working grape farmer, but deep inside, he's actually a union supporter. To complete my slipping objective, I just had to unpeel the banana. Sounds simple enough. So simple that I spent 10 minutes on stream, scouring the controls, menus, chat, and Google to find the answer. Because, get this, peeling a banana has its own keybind. You know what? I have a better idea. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't show. worry. So after the stream, I found the answer on YouTube, how to place banana in Hitman 3, but not in the video, in the comment section. Caps lock plus E. Oh, hi there, person who coded the controls. However, at least with that last mission a success, we could move on to our third and potentially final mission. Upon completing both target assassination missions, we're met with a special boss level. Instead of knowing who our target is, we just guess. Or the boring way, we could just use these clues. We're looking for someone sporting glasses, a necklace, earrings, and the bald. Blasting off in our Hitman sedan, this next mission wouldn't be easy because our hunting ground is a fortified castle. Finding our way down and into a bathroom, we'd need a disguise. Ah, uh, that wasn't me. Wrong person. Excellent work, Agent 47. All according to plan. Hello, fellow guard. It is I, a guard. Using our camera, we can look for signs of our target. But first, we need to get to the main ballroom when several guards were in our way. The circle above their head means they can see through our disguise, so I lured one upstairs. Oh, yeah, man. Only the butler was left alone downstairs, so, you know. I guess they could call you a butler. <laughs> 
we grabbed a nice souvenir and casually strolled into the party. Now, as long as I didn't run directly into someone who could detect me. Where's the bathroom? Where's the bathroom? Disguise number one, slightly ruined. With the object permeance of an infant child, the guards forgot about us, letting us lure another unsuspecting victim to the clutches of the bathroom. Nice outfit. Look, we got we gotta have some words here. And everything was fine. Except it wasn't, because there wasn't a good way to get to the ground level. But no worries, we're completely safe in our disguise. Who are you? What? I'm you serious? I'm you. Fighting. Look, no, shut up. No, stop. Don't worry, I have a solution. Beelining for one of our suspects, I took the one in four chance. You think you're, are, are you my, uh, my, nope, nope, that's a whoopsie. Which alerted a different suspect, now making a run for the exit. Not to fear though, I have everything under control. Borrowing a nearby weapon and missing all my shots, we spotted JFK, who was completely innocent. So that left two targets fleeing across the map. So in a moment of desperation, they call me Agent 47. Agent 47 bullets. Uh-oh, I'm out of ammo. Please. I've shot this lady so many times. Now with the leader dead, we just needed an escape to complete the mission. Nobody needs Anyone to see me no. hanging off of this ledge. Uh, Engaging? Attempt one was slightly better than the worst possible outcome. We still failed. Resetting all our campaign progress to square one and robbing us of our tools. But this was only attempt one. We still had plenty of tries left. Surely we had some success on one of them. Hey, hey, how about you come over here? Okay. What? What? This is all a misunderstanding, okay? Wait. Wait, that's the target. Nice of you to come over here. So this is going pretty good. Well, I lied. Attempt two. 225. Not a very good hitman. I'm not stealthy, not experienced, and I have the aim what? of your average teammate in any FPS. <laughs> but all our failed attempts have one thing in common. We're trying to play hitman like a normal person, like someone who is semi-socially adjusted and still possesses empathy. Basically, we're playing the game wrong. Instead of going about things the same way each time, dying over and over again, what if we changed our strategy? It's time to get creative. To kick off the G10 Summit of Slaughter, our first mission was in Italy, starting us in a small apartment above the streets. Inside was a helpful tool and a vendor. He's just in here. He lives in my house. Our recent and continuous lapses in judgment had left us bankrupt, so I took a trip to the church to ask Pope Francis for a loan. Unfortunately, after taking a wrong turn, I wound up choking a man in a funeral home and stealing his clothes. Walking into the church, we snatched the master key, headed to the basement, and disabled the urinal security cameras. More importantly though, picked up a preacher disguise. We were doing all this because our two targets are scientists in an underground lab, heinously researching an affordable cure for syphilis. But the lab is locked by a key card we can find in the church. Stepping into the backyard. Who are you, man? Um, I'm oh, yeah. the preacher. Duh. Sorry, buddy. Oh, maybe nobody noticed. We've got a violent assailant kicking random ass. He's dressed like Father Francesco. Okay. With the church compromise, we had to abandon finding the key card, so we snuck in through a back entrance. Now here, stealth is key. Hey! Oh. Uh, uh. What? Nah. Needing a new disguise, we discreetly subdued the Anybody gardener. Here? Anybody out there? Alerting the entire compound. Nobody hey, knows you. I'm here. Yeah, you. We're fully incognito. Sprinting through the lawn to get into the mansion, we'd at last reach our destination, a foolproof disguise. Nothing says discreet like 16th century medical practices. Armed with my trusty circumcision knife, we snuck through the compound. Because now we needed to get to the basement and assassinate the targets, our number one priority. Oh, hey, wait. You're, uh, you have money, right? Getting into the lower levels, we'd have to find a guard with access to the lab, but finding those guards is a bit of a maze. Hey, somebody wanna help us out over here? No, I don't think they do. You're in trouble now. I don't think I am. Oh, hey, didn't you see me? Oh, come on! After some work-related accidents, we found the guards and biolab door, luring them over one at a time. Hello? Is anyone there? Uh... Look, 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 look. I could explain. I could... Look, can you hey, just, just give me a sec? Leave that person where they are. 
I don't think I will. With our new key card, we could access the bio lab and our targets, but seeing as there are heavily armed guards everywhere, we need to get in and out unnoticed. Syndicate member eliminated. Well done, 47. Outstanding work, Agent 47. Truly an American hero. Mission 1, a resounding success, bringing us back new gear and weapons, and sending us right into Mission 2, but with a twist. We'd unlock prestige objectives, which are bonus goals that generate tons of cash. And our objective, explosive collateral kills. Luckily, I'm something of an expert myself. We began atop the towers of Dubai, home to a rich billionaire named Josargo. Our first target was standing behind the center stage, which was restricted. The other target was near the top of the tower, several floors above us. For the first target, we'll be back. Focusing on the second, we need a disguise, so I entered a target rich environment the bathroom remember it's not a crime if there are no witnesses but even with our server uniform we couldn't get higher in the tower so i solved my problems with nature's skeleton key which in hindsight was not the best decision give me with an improved disguise, we made our way to the top floor, needing to get past two elite guards. Luckily, guns are great at de-escalation. I mean, two collaterals isn't that bad. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know what? Let's just stop counting at ten. Mission two, an overwhelming success. And leaving just one more mission to finish off the syndicate. Now going after the leader of the entire campaign, this person was perhaps the most heinous of all our targets. Apparently they have a whole three minutes of playtime on Hogwarts Legacy. Arriving in the jungles of South America, this was our final test to eliminate the syndicate. We'd need to scour the underbrush, stalk each suspect, and watch as one of them walked up to me unarmed and alone. Now we knew this wasn't our target because we were looking for some with gray hair, so I hid the body. But what this person did have was a business burner phone which sets up meetings with a random number of other suspects. And as soon as I used the phone, oh my god. Now every single suspect was en route to our location, in the middle of the jungle, completely alone. While others might use detective work, I prefer the hard science of cause and effect. I cause a bullet wound and affect my bank account, causing the real target to make a break for the exit that I'm standing in front of. The last thing left was to just escape, enjoy our victory, and annihilate the syndicate. Throughout this whole journey, I think we've learned a valuable lesson. I guess you could say that They've been hit, man. Also join my Discord. That, that, that's actually it. I don't really have anything clever to say.